Very good evening and welcome to this edition of The Frontline on NBS TV. My name is Charles Mongushampagi. Former FDC president, former presidential candidate, Dr. Kiza Besige has returned to the mobilization for his Katonga faction of the Forum for Democratic Change with rallies in Kabale, in Imbarara, and other parts of Western Uganda. The big question is, how does this return impact the opposition's preparations ahead of the 2026 general elections? If this, of course, is still operating at two levels, the Naja Nankumbi faction is threatening to sue the Katonga faction for using the party symbols. Of course, we must remember that as we begin this show, we extend our condolences to the family of Sara Eperu, uh, one of the senior leaders of the Forum for Democratic Change, who passed on uh, earlier this week. Um, uh, one of the most energetic uh, women and activists for the Forum for Democratic Change uh, during her time. President Yoram Seven claims his ruling National Resistance Movement Party has registered, in spite of challenges in the registration process of NRM members, 18.3 million people. Isn't that about the general national um, voting age population of Uganda? 18.3 million. What is left for the political opposition? The tweet uh, is up. Uh, you can read it for yourself. What does that exactly mean? Uh, what is the opposition, uh, what is left to fight for? Uh, or is NRM deluding itself by believing that almost every adult Ugandan is a subscriber to the ruling party? We'll be discussing a little bit of that and also pick from the other political parties. Of course, Alliance for National Transformations, Mogisha Muntu, and his team have also been in the countryside mobilizing and doing meetings. They were in the Toro sub-region um, most recently. They've been to Kasese and they've been to a few other areas. To discuss those and other issues with me, tonight let me start from the extreme end. Fred Mukasambide represented Uganda in the East African Legislative Assembly and is the senior official of the Democratic Party. I had someone tease you and say, which side of the Democratic Party? Fred, always a pleasure to have you here. A uh, pleasure too. Uh, first of all, I greet colleagues and viewers. It is always one party that is the law in Uganda. Thank you. We have from the Uganda Media Center a member of the front line, a frontliner, Ofono Opondo. Very nice to have you, sir. Thank you. But I thought uh, you cheated Mukasambidi. Mm. He is the vice president of the Democratic Party. Yes. Not just a senior official. Mm. He's the vice president. Fred, do you want to add that uh, Ofono Pondo is the executive director of the Uganda government media? Of the Uganda no, media but center. you see, <laughs> when you, you are the ones of journalism, mm. you need to be categorical, specific. Yes. Don't assume that when you say a senior official, mm. a senior official could be a deputy treasurer, a deputy publicity secretary. But this is the vice president of the Democratic Party. Okay. Uh, we take that. <laughs> we take that for the benefit of our viewers. We have from uh, the National Resistance Movement, a member of the Central Executive Committee, also represented Uganda, the East African Legislative Assembly Both at some point. Ten yes. years. Yes. Yeah. Lydia Wanyoto, very nice to have you. Uh, thank you, Charles. Good evening to our listeners and the viewers. I'd also want to join Charles by paying my tribute and condolences to Madame Sarah Eperu. I've been meeting her when she was well at Spectrum and many of the media houses. And like you've said, mm. a very strong woman leader from the FDC. Uh, yeah. And her soul rests in internal peace. And from Kira Municipality. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Finance Minister. <laughs> what is exciting? Ibrahim Semujungan. <laughs> it is always making me laugh. No, no, no. <laughs> waiting. You are struggling to remember how I asked you to introduce me. Oh, yes, what is making you I'm laugh. I'm actually struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice to have you. Thank you, Charles. Honorable Ibrahim Semujunganda is a member of the front line. He's a front liner. Let me start with you, actually, and ask the question. Uh, you've been uh, out there mobilizing with Dr. Kiza Besage and people asking the question, uh, what kind of return is he trying to make? What does this mean? One for FDC, what does it mean for the broader uh, opposition politics? <clears throat> First of all, we have not been mobilizing. We have been consulting. Mm. We, after all, 
what we went through quarreling amongst ourselves, we took a decision. Uh, <clears throat> the FDC National Council took a decision that we need to process uh, um, five ideas that came out after our earlier consultations. Do we reconcile and return to Najana Nkumbi? Do we form a new political party? Do we join existing genuine opposition political parties? Do we um, take up one of those uh, smaller parties that have stagnated and energize it? Or do we form a pressure group to continue with the work that we are doing when you are still at least one party? Mm. When you are so, still the one Uganda, one party? One, one party. Huh? The, the, mm. So the decision was that w the National Council and the na leaders at the national level cannot take this decision alone. Let's go and consult the FDC leadership and where possible membership. The first meeting took place in Chireka, the place uh, called the Chireka Rehabilitation Center, and I was the host. Mm. It was, in your it was a fairly small meeting because the uh, police was uncomfortable. They told me we don't want this, and because we wanted this meeting to succeed, we made it small deliberately. Of course, police mm. was around, blockaded some of the entrances to that facility. So from there, we said we will undertake some sub-regional consultative meetings and as I said where possible also consult the FDC um, member I mean FDC supporters so that's where, how we went to Mbarala Bushenyu was not scheduled but they were excited by Mbarala so they said please since you are around mm -hmm. why come don't by. you also come here mm -hmm. then Kabale Lukunjiri, um, Kasese, we will resume next week. Our intention is to cover the whole country, but we'll try to limit these consultative meetings at a sub regional level. But where other FDC members like Bushenyi uh, did invite us, we will, especially if we are within the same area. We are in Jinja. Mm. Now the people of Busoga say, no, 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 we are not satisfied. Police stopped you from coming here and there to want you to return. So this exercise should take two months. That was our agreement. And then the decision is taken there should now be processed by the National Council and eventually the delegates conference. I have at a personal level said, I am only an FDC up to May next year. Mm. I am one of those who think that uh, the FDC, I mean the us who left the other group, NRM leaning at Najana Nkumbi, <laughs> should form a new political platform. I don't believe in quarreling, that we should spend and explain all our energy quarreling over Najana Nkumbi, the headquarter, over the color of blue, over a key. I, I don't think that's how I want to, ex 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 I mean, that's, that's not how I want to devote my energy. Hmm. But I have colleagues who are very emotional. They, they don't think they can be anything other than FDC. So Dr. Kiza VSJ, uh, as our leader, is leading a team that has gone for consultation. Mobilization will start and you will see us. It will be more than what um, you are seeing. Dr. Kisa Besige took <clears throat> effective retirement uh, around 2013. That was when he stepped back. <clears throat> now, that, that was yes. retirement. Uh, can, can I frame my question? Yes. Uh, 20, about 2013, 2012, 2013. Then returned to run in 2016, decided to stay out of uh, the election in 2021. Now that you have brought him back to headline this national consultation, what does it mean? Uh, what exactly are you trying to He has himself spoken about today uh, when we brought the board of Sarepelu at uh, Katonga. He said actually he was shocked. In one of the meetings, he found people with a placard. You are our sole candidate for 2026. And he said, I told them, watch. Dr. Kizavesiji took leave from FDC leadership 
because at that time we were involved in a lot of activism. And you know, political parties are procedure. They are extremely procedure. You undertake an activity and they say, did Neke authorize you? He said, no, 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 because me, I want to fight for freedom with the, whoever is ready. So I don't want my decisions and decision of activists to be subjected by process of political parties. So that's how we left the FDC to go to Katonga. And many of us went, I was a senior FDC leader until recently. We decided that we will be undertaking <coughs> civil activities and a civil organization. That's how we formed the action for change and later for God and my country. Because you said we didn't want to be encumbered by political parties. As I said political parties are too procedural. They will call NEC, they will call district, what? They will call what? So you can spend three months without doing anything because political party is processing the decision. Just, just a quick one before we... So Dr. West took leave from the FDC leadership. He never took leave from fighting for freedom. What many people don't know, and, and I see the media keep making the same mistake, even in 2016, WSG had refused to contest for election. Mm -hmm. I know meetings sat in, in, at, at his home, many meetings. And he said, I, I don't think we will be able to remove him seven by contesting in an election. He has himself organized, and he will be the one to declare the results. In fact, he said, if we must participate, we must use it to mobilize masses, to rise up against them seven. 2021, we were in the same meetings almost every day. Uh, you remember when I was telling Nanda right here, when he was accusing VSG. At least I attended all the meetings. And VSG said, I am not going to participate in elections. You will find me here, you can go. I'm going to be reading my books. Please, you will find me after your elections. Today, he still has the same message. Mm. He says we can't wait for so, 20. So, so what, what is the effect of his mobilization of the current consultation forces? Uh, the, as I said, these are FDC consultations. We disagreed with our colleagues. The matters were well represented. We reached a point of no return. And we said, I have told you, some of us said, it does not help anyone to continue quarreling. We can go and start a, a new platform, leave them in Najana and Kumbi, because they are happy. Is there, is there a possibility Najana that they will leave you in Katonga and uh, go back to, Na some of your colleagues will leave you in Katonga and go back to Najana and Kumbi? Isn't that what political parties are about? If you choose to go and join Mkasambi, the NDP, you go and join him. Le, 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 freedom, le, le, freedom of association means you associate with people that you like. It's not a prison. Okay. If there are those who want to go to Najana and Kumbi, they can go to Najana and Kumbi. If there are those who want to leave Najana and Kumbi to join us wherever we will be, they can come and join us. I'll come back to you in a moment. Uh, Lydia, uh, you come from Mbale, and Mbale has uh, sometimes, in uh, recent elections, flipped between NRM and FDC. FDC still has uh, a now national unity platform, and the larger Bugiso subregion. Uh, what is your reading of uh, what many people read as the return of Kiza Besige to the front of the political arena uh, with his uh, ongoing consultations for a section of the Forum for Democratic Change? Um, in the last elections, we had uh, a mix of uh, results which did not align to one political party in the whole of Bugisu sub-region. Although the NRM had uh, more parliamentary seats, but we also had the NUP, as you know. Mm -hmm. We have a NUP leader from there. We also have uh, FDC MPs uh, from Mbale. Where I come from in the Mbale city, NUP won for the presidential elections. But uh, we got one independent uh, constituency MP and woman MP, but also we got one NRM. So f the reading there, I think we, we do not... Yes, there is opposition, but we, we, there is more mix mm. than to say Bugisu is a uh, one party mm. stronghold given the results mm. but uh, the coming of Dr. Vesije back in the mobilization like Honorable Semuju has given uh, their roadmap we will get the film maybe when they come to Bugisu, we haven't felt them because they began from another part of the country but uh, that does not mean because mine, I come from the city does not mean that people are not aware of what is happening. I think they are watching Twitter and see uh, what it, it means to get back 
uh, basically on the front line of mobilization, consultation, sorry, is calling them. So when that he, happens, he says mobilization will begin. Yeah, yeah. Le mm. let's wait for the visit to Mugisu and Mbale State, particularly where I come from, and then we see what they call the vibes after that. For now, I think they are on watch and see. Mm. Yeah, but uh, What's your reading the community of the rest of the is very political alert on what's going on, yes? What's your reading of, um, uh, at the national level, what's your reading of uh, the efforts, and, and of course the issues within the FDC? Uh, I think, like uh, Honorable Semju has said, we, are, we, we might end up with the two uh, split groups. I think one group is determined to move its way, and another also group is digging in, because the, the, we do not see any efforts for uh, coming together or reconciling. We see efforts of finding each one of their way, and then they'll meet on what they call the debate, they'll meet on the ballot box, because they're not leaving the eye on the final goal of the election, but I think they are, they are not agreeing on meeting together, or reconciling their differences. And I think that's also normal. Oh, oh. Because from what I saw, the Najana Kumbi leadership are trying to use, I think, both legal and political platforms to say that uh, the Katonga faction should not use uh, what he was calling the, the brand mm. of the party, both the, the party name, symbols. the symbols. I have seen that coming out to say they are going to use both political and legal uh, means to stop them from using those. Because they are, as they move in the community, they are consulting as FDC. And the Naja group is saying they are not authorized to go out and consult as FDC. That's what I'm, I'm reading. Mm. But we'll wait and see. Uh, from, from where you sit at uh, the NRM Central Executive Committee, um, your last major headache in the 2021 elections was uh, the emergence of national interplatform. Uh, from about 2017, uh, no, I mean, uh, yes, about 2017, through the elections, and that really shook up the landscape of uh, the opposition politics, but also uh, affected significantly um, uh, areas that NRM uh, 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 had some strong presence especially in the central region and, and other areas. Like you said, they got into your territory in Mbale. Now that Chagulanyi is doing his own mobilization for NUP, BCJ is re-emerging. Uh, from where you sit, uh, the Secretariat, are these ir issues of concern that you're looking at? Yeah, we, we did not go back to sleep after 2021 elections. We were able to receive the results. We've been analyzing those results. The causes why we lost mainly Buganda, the perceptions, the rumors and misconceptions, and the politics about why we lost mainly, it was mainly Buganda. And uh, since then, we have done our homework and uh, we, are, we are on the ground. We are able to, we, we will manage our campaign is really to manage to reverse what transpired uh, in the last elections. And it's not a first time we've done that. In the past, we lost northern Uganda. But uh, as we speak today, even given the results we received this evening, we have been able to increase the membership registration in the areas we have been losing before. Northern Uganda is, is now under NRM comfortably. Uh, Teso, we had lost Teso completely. Uh, they are, these are our neighbors. I come from Bugisu. The whole of Teso that it, it was blue, covering even part of, of Bugisu. 2020, 2001, 2016, people thought we were mad to be in NRM in that part of the country. But uh, as you all know, now TESO is even the results of today's uh, feedback on the registration because we had party registration and mobilization between the 13th to 17th of March. Mm. And the results are showing a lot new members. Uh, we have increased in some areas by 2 million, by 3 million. And these are without uh, institutions because universities and higher institutions are already uh, we are school when we went to do the registration. So the, the indicators show that the NRM uh, has now a national character, a uh, national presence is yellow, and we have our map of Uganda showing most of yellow. Even in Uganda, uh, the current book that I came this evening with shows that in Uganda we've been able to up the membership registration and when we open for people during the holidays of higher institutions 
we should raise our issue to from there that we shall now do, go do, back do, and, do and numbers, because politics is about numbers also yes but do those numbers um, when when you look at those numbers the president was talking about your party chairman was talking about 18.3 million people that's about the entire adult age population of this country it is it's, it's a country it's, of, it's, um, it is uh, about the the population of the country by age voting age but uh, we just received the report so we are yet to study it and also analyze the numbers vis-a-vis -vis the reality on the ground remember that the national uh, UBOS, uganda bureau of statistics is going to do a census just next may month. May, from may 10th going forward for 10 days but also the national electoral commission the independent electoral commission in january the first week of january they will be doing their voter registration then nira is also going to do registration so we are comparing with other national mm. statistical institutions so at the end of the day we'll be doing our plus and minus given other national statistics like i've told you from the electoral commission of the country from nira from ubos but be able to compare and then we see whether or not we are on the right track uh, Ofono Pondo, let me come to you on um, the return of Besige. Well, first of all, <coughs> why did Besige emerge in the first place? Why did he retreat? My <coughs> reading is that um, the happenings both on the ground in Uganda and outside Uganda may be motivating him. First of all, inside Uganda. I think he has calculated that the split in FDC gives him an edge within the membership of FDC and there is no credible alternative to the Nigerian Kumbi faction. And so probably he wants to re-emerge as the leader of that group and what about has told you is our leader. Secondly, I think the performance of NOB in Parliament, particularly, and the national political psyche, I think has given him an impression that they are not living up to what they ought to do as the leading opposition. And particularly, the ongoing internal fracas which is likely to split at least the NOP leadership. I suspect that Mr. Besid is trying to read again in there that he can take a slice of leadership but also followership. Thirdly, <coughs> from the NRM side. Obviously, there are many mistakes the NRM is making. Uh, there are many things we are not attending to. The style of our work takes us back to the question why the emergence of NOP and why we lost Buganda and the president lost Busoga and in Bali, and many other places where NOPE actually did not campaign. The dissatisfaction, the discontent on a number of issues. I suspect that Mr. Vesija is reading that uh, if the internal liturgy in NRM continues, chances are it is possible to raise discontent electoral discontent and somebody who appears to be viable can take that slice of the discontented which is rising anyway mm. you, you, not you, notwithstanding the numbers we are reporting with the 18 million i don't believe it myself i think it is bloated uh, because if you look at our statistics of the population the population of Ugandans below the age of 15 are about 50% of 51%. Mm. So how can it be possible that, that out of an approximate number of 46 million, 
one party can have. But it is okay. Mm. We, the NRM people, uh, we need to take that and find out, validate, but so do also do vigorous campaign. And you see, NRM should not take this lightly because this is not the first time the NRM membership is overmarked. Even in the last election, we were 17 or 11, but the president has never got more than 7 million votes. What? So we, we, uh, somebody is not telling the truth somewhere. Mm. Or maybe with the NRM people, once we have these numbers, we say we are home and dry, so we don't do the hard work to whip uh, the voters to come uh, actually to the ballot. So, but that's a, a matter, hopefully, we shall discuss candidly in the NRM. If we have 18, is it actually accurate? If you go by the statistics just given, uh, yes. <laughs> it's about an estimated number of uh, 46 million Ugandans. Yeah. If about 52% of that yeah. is 15 years and below, and 48% uh, is the one that is uh, 16, eh? 15 and above. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah 16 going towards uh, uh, 18 and forward. It means you're calculating almost about uh, 22 million? Uh, uh, yeah. 16 but, but and above? See, for now, I can only see, I mm -hmm. can only see, let the NRM people, let us, the NRM people, have our numbers. We need to validate. But if we live in the folly, mm -hmm. then obviously that folly, there will be a rendezvous with destiny. Now, for Mr. Messi, the other thing I see. I think has been energized by what has happened around Africa, especially the recent election in Senegal. Mm. But also, which has some connection back here. And I've said this on this show, I think I said last week. I said, if you look at the rise of Bessie in 2005, 2006, when he came from exile in South Africa, part of the problem was how we, the NRM people, tackled him. And we are seen as high-handed. I think that gave him a lot of mileage, a lot of sympathy. But also, even within the NRM, some people said, if you have been around, the man has just come. Why do you have this hard tackle? Mm. And I think... Why have you been sent into panic mode? Yes. So, some of the reasonable minds in the NRM, I think, just said, ah, this is too much. And that also happened, but it was repeated in the 2020-2021. If you have a young man, a musician, nobody had never known him in the world of politics. But you give him a hard tackle, especially where you have young, innocent minds joining the voting population. Don't you think you are likely to send them away to that person who they see is the victim? So the method of the NRM, in my view, led to the surge of Bobby Wine and Noob. And if you look at those areas that... Uh, and basically before that. Yeah, basically before that. Because in that environment, I, 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 I don't think Bobby Wine campaigned. He just, it was just passing through. In my land, he just passed through. But wherever you have a border, border stage, you have a, a market, young people, who are dissatisfied about many things, they see him as a possible savior, even when he has no content they will see him as a possible savior. And so that connects with what has been happening around Africa, where people who appear to have been treated unwell by the sitting government, somebody moves out of a jail and without campaigning. Mm. So I, I suspect that Mr. Wesley is reading that, but I give it to him. Is an old person we have, we have met before, we have dealt with before. For me, does it complicate, your question mm. was, does it complicate or, or, energize. Help, or energize opposition? I think it does complicate. Because going by the past experience, it is unlikely that when somebody has built his momentum, he's likely to give way even when that momentum cannot be sustained into victory. I don't see, for example, that VCJ can, maybe in politics, you never say never, 
mm. that his spokesperson is here. Can he come around with the Nigerian Nankumbi group, particularly the leading people there? I don't see it. Can he come around with the leading group in DP? I don't see it. Can he come around with the UPC leading group there? I don't see it. And also the issues. Can he come around with uh, NUP? I, I Do don't see, see I don't see it. And so I think his coming back is going to is complicating uh, the opposition politics. Now the issues. Can he ride the wave on the issues? I don't think so. Because like uh, leader said, what made opposition general and FDC and basically in particular in 2001, 2006, 2011. In the eastern part of Uganda, northern Uganda was really war-related issues. People being displaced, property being destroyed, people having unsettled, unsettled life, and so on and so forth. So he wrote on that. The same thing with Kasese, by the way. The same thing with the West Nile. Now, once those issues were settled, I don't see many things except the sensational ones that Mr. BCJ can try. But now that he has also experience in handling FDC and he has not handled FDC well and has not handled the general position also well, I don't see that BCJ can be seen by the people in the opposition as the answer to their main issue, which is knocking out NRM, knocking out URM7. Fred Mukasambede, let me come to you. Um, you're seeing these waves that are emerging, particularly start with Dr. Kiza Besseje re-emerging on the stage, energizing um, the FDC base uh, whichever side they belong. I, uh, by the way, I have a message here from an FDC mobilizer in Kasese called Misairi Tembo Kaugu, uh, who says um, I am Tembo Kaugu, uh, an FDC mobilizer in Kasese, as a district which FDC found fighting for our rights in 2005, we have not allowed to be a battleground for both Katonga and Naja factions. As per our Sunday recommendation, we have called on the leadership of both sides to reconcile. Then we can move together as FDC to join any potential opposition coalition come 2026. Um, what's your reading of um, the, the reemergence of Kiza Besige? How does it fit into a contest uh, where Robert Chagulani has been uh, the major face of the political mm. position and uh, his <coughs> national unity platform. And of course, uh, what you guys are doing in uh, DP and UPC has been picking up a, a few seats, mm. uh, a petition in Lango sub-region. Um, how does this impact the battleground, especially in the opposition ranks, going towards 2026? Yeah, uh, we are actually now living a life of extreme complication. Uh, as members of the opposition. I can tell you I have listened very well and uh, Mr. Fonopondo here is, is happily giving the points exactly as we are. <laughs> D this debate is actually a two-pronged debate. On the first account, it is a post-mortem debate on FDC. And on the second account, it is a meteorological debate on the kind of opposition politics we are going to have. It, it exhibits the meteorology, the atmosphere as it is going to be in the next politics that we are going to handle. Uh, one thing for sure is, is that it is very incomprehensible whether there is going to be any understanding whatsoever between the, the owner of some Jews group and the, the Nkumbi group mm. be, because it is clear. He has told you the other one is NRM leaning. Now, I think that is not a matter available for, for resolution as quickly as 2026. So, in my opinion, of course, that again explains the postmortem of the FDC as a party. Number two, as the opposition, it is still a postmortem on our quest for obtaining power. Complete post-mortem. We are only explaining the death of our struggle to obtain power. Mm. And, and that we have now rounded off to the nearest. You know, I am not a good mathematician, but, but we used to study rounding off to the nearest 
where the next number is, is less than five, then you round off downwards. If it is above five, you round off to the next. Now, for us as members of the opposition, it looks like we have now rounded off backwards. Backwards. Mm. We, we are now beginning to think about how many seats of parliament we will get as political entities and outfits, and potentially the next struggle is going to be who actually leads, leads the opposition. So. What Dr. Bessie is now realizing is, one, when you look at all the political outfits, the entities that we call political parties on the opposition particular, they have all generated some bit of protuberances. First of all, we are all fossilized. We can no longer move properly. Mm. If you want to medically explain it, we, we have gout and varicose vein in, the, in every limb, all political parties. To the extent they, then, that now we need some other diagnosis. What is it? Their outgrowth in every political party. Mm. Protuberances. NUP, there is an outgrowth pursuant to how they have managed the parliament and the, the payment procedures and the processes of remuneration have also resulted into a, a team live almost above at the verge of leaving uh, the NUP. DP, the same. FDC, the same. Now, what is going to happen is that I am looking at Dr. Besige trying to see how to galvanize now all the protuberances into one outfit. Now, who is going to be the immediate opponent? It is going to be who is leading the opposition to begin with. So I think we have lost the quest for power. And now, in my opinion, we are going to be now garnering for who leads the opposition. The kind of antagonism and cataclysm that is going to ensue is going to be so bad to the extent that it is now NRM to determine who should be the leader of opposition. How? Because we are dealing with the protest support. Because they are authoritarian in nature. There is no democracy. And in a, a situation of authoritarianism, there are usually two sentiments. For and against. Now, whoever is seen and viewed as the ringleader is the one that is supported. Now, whoever gets arrested 10 times a month is now going to be viewed by the population as the one holding the mantle mm. against the state. In my opinion now, running towards December, that is when the determination is going to be made. Uh, we don't have a political party that has anchored itself in terms of support on account of what it actually espouses as a political progress program. No. For example, when you look at NUP, it had survived on celebrity panjandram. It, it, it was a... And, and now once it stops being media happy, it will fizzle out at a speed. The, the momentum with which it is going to fizzle out, you are going to wonder. Because to the extent that then, when you now see MPs, they are gallivanting, they are now calling Semuju. I'm sure they are calling him. What are we dealing with now? Because now they are beginning to round off again to the nearest. Do I mm. get my seat back? Mm. Are they rounding off forward or backwards? No, backwards, backwards. Because forward would have meant that we are gathering towards obtaining state power. Which, in my opinion, I don't believe is attainable under the current circumstances. But at mm. least we thought that the figment of fatal imagination that certain political outfits and entities had lived in, that, that figment that we can, wh wh we why, can compete. Why, why, why are you in that uh, very deep state of uh, lamentation over the opportunities for the opposition when all, all referred to the situation in um, Senegal just a few days ago? Now, let me tell you. you. You have a young man in Senegal yes. who's now president. But how has he become president? Number one, Abdullah Iwade did not stand. The president of Senegal did not compete again. Uh, what Sal. happened? Eh? Makesal. So he did not compete. What yes. happened again? His son that he had preferred got disqualified because he was born in France. What happened? The leader of opposition, Sonko, had himself also now failed to nominate to the extent that then he became a uh, hajalagid of some sort and one other guy won. Now in Uganda, mm. even the son of the president is not allowed to compete. When he looked around for votes, they quickly maneuvered him back into the army to the extent that even the ringleaders have been now maneuvered into cabinet. They have silenced any likelihood of, of competition, even internally. Now the people who had converged, for example, if you want to assess the last meeting of uh, Masaka, those are not NRM supporters that had come. Mm. Those are all change 
protagonists. They, they all were looking forward the, the, to the somebody else. The ones who came for the party yes. of, uh, of, of, of uh, MK. Uh, yes. They yeah, all yeah. had turned out to see the next president. Now, let President Seven do it the same rally again today in Masaka and, and see how many people will entertain uh, his presence. Wouldn't you be mobilizing so, for him since you are now in uh, some kind of alliance? We, we are not in an alliance, mm. and, and I am surprised we always have this engagement. Mm. For us, we designed an agreement for purposes that we could undergo and undertake a dialogue. A dialogue is actually anchored on, on limbs, including, among others, a possibility of a transition. We are now stuck with our agreement in our armpits. Is, it, is the transition It has not been supported by our friends. No, no, it has not, not yet. It has only been supported by our friends, and we are now garnering towards an election organized by his own task forces. One is called the Electoral Commission, one is called the police, one is called, and they are, that we are going to be declared winners against him on an account of a thing he has organized. He let's has take, just told let, Let's take a break, and uh, so, Fred Mukasambide pick this conversation up uh, in a moment. We'll be right back. Welcome back to this edition of The Frontline on NBS TV. And we're looking at Besige's return to the leadership of the opposition, particularly that faction of the Forum for Democratic Change. You must have seen him in those consultative meetings going on across the country by the Katonga faction of the Forum for Democratic Change. Like uh, Semo Junganda said, they started in Kira municipality in his constituency, then moved on to Mbarara, moved yeah. on to Jinja. I had some consultations there, moved to Mbarara, moved to the Chigezi sub-region, and they are still moving uh, across. And Besije is, some people think Besije is rebranding himself, re-energizing his base, and what does that mean? Will he just drive that and stop it midway, or will he drive it forward? How does Besije and uh, Robert Senta Muchagulanyi fit mm -hmm. as two major opposition political leaders uh, heading into 2026? But... Can 2026 just be one at the ballot? Or does it need some kind of negotiated transition as Fred Mukasambide and his, and his group at the forum at the Democratic Party are saying? I have um, a message here from Michael Chakulaga in Kayunga, Bugerere, who says, uh, KB should leave the podium to others 20 years. Uh, he has been the best dancer. Now it's high time for him to quit politics. Maybe he must be having hidden agendas to confuse the electorates. Why not a Semuju? Why Dr. Besige? Uh, Michael Chakulaga is watching us from Kayunga, Bugerere. I have a message here from, um, uh, let me see. Yes, I have a message here from uh, Nahamia Emmanuel Ruguru, who says, uh, Besige's comeback has nothing to do with NRM victory, but rather FDC and NUP. This time round, their percentage will drop. Uh, he has some percentages that he's giving, but uh, Emmanuel, they are confusing me a, bit, a little bit. NRM is winning with a landslide victory, Nahamia. I have uh, Muse Chris Tushabe. Uh, he's an elder and watching us uh, from um, watching us from Kawarole District. He says, uh, since FDC had gone had done well to build a national character, why did Bobby Wine decide Chess Kiza Besige from Kasangati instead of joining him? Those many years. Yes, uh, Honorable Fred Mukasambide, you wanted to conclude something. Yes, so the situation we are heading for, clearly in terms of national politics and who becomes and remains the president, is, is going to benefit the current leader. In terms of what the opposition is going to do in term, uh, as politics that emanates from the kind of organizations that we are looking at, we, we are going to develop a lot of antagonism, animosity, they are, they are going to be fist fights against mm. political parties on the opposition. Why? Each now clamoring to, 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 to be in the lead of, of the opposition towards the next election. And, and it is a natural development. Mm. You can also see it now. In, there, natural, there is a natural development unique to Uganda? Because uh, I have uh, Muyomba Kenneth Kizito here from Mengo, who's yes. asking, he says the question should go to all of you, the panelists, and says, why is it that we lack leaders in Uganda? No, we don't lack leaders, but, mm. but leaders lead in a, multiple, in a multiple list of directions to, to the extent then that they do not lead towards a similar direction. We have leaders. Uh, and, and, and let me tell you, there, there is a, I think this word has got its etymology from, from, from German, Schadenfreude. Mm. 
Shadden fraud. Eh, Shadden fraud. Oh, epically, can say where you, you look at somebody taking a lot of happiness in the misfortunes of another. Mm. Now, this is what has developed on opposition parties. And, and it is going to be the moving swan song on the lips of all opposition leaders. That one party gets happier when the other party gets a problem. It has now even strolled down to the leaderships themselves. Mm. The leaders. One leader, for example, highlights the misfortune of another but, but, to the but, extent, but, but, and, and, and I've seen it. Honorable Mukasa Mbede, how yes. can you, you, you've been on the stage for some time as yes. a leader from your days as a, a UID member yes. and leader in UID, mm. Mm. from your days as a leader in Makere University, now a leader in the Democratic Party, the main yeah. party, mm. and, and, and you're saying... Um, uh, you're talking about how you pull each other down, how you enjoy each other's misfortunes, mm. and mm. you're saying this country still has leaders? It has good leaders. Mm -hmm. But you see, they can be bad leaders. Not, not every bad thing is useless. Mm -hmm. Some can be used as a bad example. <laughs> so, so the bad things that our leaders are doing are going to be used as a bad example in history. So if we want to lead... Let us use the bad, the good characteristics to lead mm. forward. So you 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 you've ruled so, out mm. you've ruled out PLU and MK. Yes. In contention, mm. you've ruled out your party, the mm -hmm. Democratic Party. You've ruled out the Forum for Democratic Change, whichever factions. Yes. You're ruling out. Uh, you you said uh, what, what did you say about NUP? Uh, uh, celebrity Panjandra? Yes. Uh, you said that will now very it, soon do what? It, it has divided itself into two. Okay. You, uh, you've ruled out UPC. Mm. So what is your verdict? What, what are you saying to our viewers? Dialogue. The future of Uganda lies in the date of exit of President Museveni. Let me tell you, he has grown beyond the capacity of any institution in Uganda. It is now an in, the degree of fusion of what we would have called the state and what we call the NRM party is inextricably bound together. You know, it, it is, you cannot even dissect, you cannot determine, because now a SEC member is here. I don't think President Museveni was worried that members of SEC were coming and that he did not know what they were going to decide. Mm. And he was so worried that they could have decided otherwise from the objective reasons that made it a logical necessity for that meeting to sit. Mm. Instead, instead, they were worried. We, we don't know which mood Musei was in. And, and, and <laughs> <laughs> so that means that he leads everything, including even the political party that he belongs to. Mm. So until he himself now sets the ground for a transition for Uganda, it is very unlikely that we can, we can have one peacefully. That's what we are talking about as the Democratic Party. We are saying, please, let us promise him everything to the extent that then he can now guarantee because he has already now organized for example because you know when when was there talking about the transition and how the president denied that he actually addressed transition mm. uh, with honorable mao which is true mm. you know when you sign an agreement the agreement was a basis for further discussions and it was not an agreement and, of, and, of the and, and, and you said since you signed the agreement, you are stuck with it. We are still stuck with yeah. it in our armpits because a lot of discussions have not taken nothing, place. No, no, no discussion has happened after not that. Not nothing, mm -hmm. but we see that there is a blurred atmosphere ahead. We do not think, and even our colleagues here have not even helped to make sure that we generate the substantial oomph that is necessary to push but the parties to the agreement to act. Yes. Agreement yes. So, in, in the armpits, Mm. Do these other colleagues know about it, even if it is in the general terms? What are they going to push? Are they going to push something they don't know about? No, but, but he says uh, the, the, the agreement was signed between their leader and your leader. No, he's... And, 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 and I expect, I expect a SEC no. member mm. to be as explanatory as myself on no, the same agreement. I'm just because asking a, a, a question. <laughs> mm. yes. Because I've also uh, seen, I've never seen the agreement. No, you see? So, so SEC, it hasn't, that, it that, hasn't that's why we are saying. Yeah, but I'm, I'm also saying mm. that the expectations of Mbide, they're as good as other expectations, I think, of Posa in the agreement. Because I don't, I do not expect... Okay, let me say FDC, Semuju, mm. and other people to say because there's an agreement, let's push. What are they pushing? You see, so agri you agreements, the details of the agreement. agreements mm. and the constitutions don't work. It is the implementers that actually follow what they provide for. 
So our aspirations are the same as aspirations of those that feel that a declaration of, of them as, a, as winners of an election will definitely take place. Okay. So we are the same. Uh, let, let, hmm. let, me come, let me come back to uh, Honorable Semuju. You, you've listened to the other colleagues discuss. You keep that <coughs> thing in your armpit. The, the, you, the, you, they're painting you, a picture that even it. the ongoing <laughs> consultation don't processes don't know what they are doing. you're holding, led by Dr. Kiza Besige, basically are not going to move the needle in terms of opposition shaking up politics in this country or, 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 or shaking President Museven out of power. I, I am not as uh, pessimistic as uh, the DP vice president. I, I told them during the break I was in Khartoum when General al-Bashir returned from South Africa where they had uh, threatened to arrest him and hand him over to the International Criminal Court. The way he was enthusiastically received mm. made me believe that he was such a very popular leader. Only for the population to chase him like a chicken thief three months later. The only advantage and value that Mr. M7 can add to our political processes is by peacefully leaving power. Mm. But leaving he will leave. There should be no doubt about that. Leaving, he will leave. And sometimes, with or without our participation, I saw in Sudan, the women who led the, the, the population to overthrow Bashir, the civil society that led to the overthrow of Hussein Mubarak, the political prayers may fail. They, we may get compromised. But the opposition against him seven is not the opposition of leaders. If it was us leaders, that opposition should have crumbled long ago. Because you can count the list of people Museven has compromised and taken. Mm. From our own FDC, he started by taking individuals, now he started taking institutions. Mm. DP, the, the, the one of uh, my brother, they went and said, asked the, his president in parliament, your members are seated with us here for you, they say, now what do we do? So from taking individuals, he took uh, institutions. But the opposition against him seven is only growing. And that's why even to allow you to move a bit freely like Dr. Kiza VSG has in some cases, of course he has made police in Mahara, in Chira, we are holed up in, a, in that rehabilitation center. In Jinja, we are not allowed to go to the city center. But even to allow you that, <coughs> uh, is doing so out of fear. Not that, yes, he may have the instrument of violence, but he also doesn't know what the population will do tomorrow. That Museven doesn't know, and I can guarantee. Mm. And nobody should pretend about it. This population, when Museven arrested the Honorable Chagurani in Ruoka, he didn't know that he would be fighting the population for the next three days. Even me, I didn't suspect it would happen. Mm. But Kampara here was impossible. I went to bury a friend of ours, lost a daughter, uh, Oscar Semwe. Mm. I, I almost failed to return to Kampara. In Nakauka, in the villages, people had taken over all the roads. And it's not that that population has gone away. Yes, but so they, but, they only but, but, value but, but, they only value that Museven can can give uh, can is, is create an atmosphere of free transfer of power. These disagreements between parties and uh, and, and uh, I actually I am not worried. The trouble is that you, the media, sometimes you read too much in processes. I have told you, 2016, Dr. Kizavis, you said, I don't want to go for an election. Let us organize for civil disobedience. Mm. For one, I attended all the meetings in Kasangat. The same people were crying, telling the USJ, you must yes, yes, um, at Katonga. Mm. Basically, you said, those who are worried that he is coming, as a, please don't get worried. He we think 2026 20, is far away. We should now be working together, mobilizing but, but, but is, everybody. Is, isn't that a, sign of, a, a kind of contradiction that... In 20, going into the 2011 elections, the message was, we do not have to wait for the election. Charlie Museven is becoming weaker, he'll get away. 10 years down the road, uh, actually almost, yes. <clears throat> yes, 
almost 15, 15 years down the road, we're still talking about the same. And, and my question is, do you see the political position in its current state contributing to the exit of President Yoram Seven? And I've asked this question here before. By 2026, he'll have been in power for 40 years. When he finally leaves, in whichever way he leaves, would you say that it is the opposition that pushed him out? <clears throat> we, we have had meetings with our colleagues, um, National Inter Platform, the uh, ANT, and, and a few others. To me, I would return it to you when eventually um, Al Bashir left, Mubarak left. I want to leave out Gaddafi. Did, were they pushed out by the opposition? For me, for uh, me, President it, Museven has been in power for 38 years. Yeah, it does. Hosn Mubarak mm. had been in power 38 years. for about 38 years. Yeah. Yes. Mm. For me, it is not the, the number of years that will determine the contribution people have made. Because our biggest contribution has been to raise the levels of civic competence in the country. For, people, for everybody to appreciate, first of all, that Museven needs to go. And for everybody to appreciate that I need to make a personal participation. That has been our, the reason we go for rallies, the reason we go for meetings, is to bring everybody at par. They may not come as you wish. I remember one time when we asked the population to close the shop, said, you know, we can paralyze this company if everybody closed and stayed home. Some mm -hmm. said, no, no, no. Uh, me, I am a, uh, a hand to, to mouth person, so you can't tell me to stay home. Zenkola Zend, yeah. yeah, but there are others who close. Let, let me read a message from Jeff Bidandi, who says, Genome 7 successfully castrated all the bulls in the herd, or in the kraal, whether in opposition or in-house within his own NRM party. He is the alpha and omega in each aspect of the country, especially in a country where there is limited civic activism. FDC is well dissected. Noop is facing its own fate. DP is in a marriage just like UPC. It's still clear ground from 70 till further notice. I, I don't know <coughs> if your reading of the situation and the circumstances is the same as a, a viewer like Jeff Bidandi. In, in, uh, fact, in mm. fact, for me, <clears throat> I think when you, you are all vulnerable, but it's easy at work when you're all powerful. Mm when you all face some levels of vulnerabilities, it is easier to have a discussion. But when everybody feels strong, and uh, he, he, he thinks that I, I should be the one to take it on, that sometimes also complicates uh, internal discussions. I think we are at a level where we can have a discussion to make the final push. As I said, uh, you, you may want it to happen this year, and it doesn't happen. The people of Libya, for 43 years, they were stuck with Gaddafi. Mm. Even, even in Bashir, you've mentioned others. My worry, Museven will go. My worry, actually, like one time I said, I only worry that Museven may go down with the country like Bashir did. Okay. My considered opinion is that Besige will not be on the ballot in 2026. The two as Christian consultations are not consultations per se. They are disguised as FDC consultations to avoid harassment. They are repaying, replaying the Munto scenario before he formed ANT. They will form a new party because most of the key Kiza based henchmen do not want to join NUP. The way forward in 2026 will have to be negotiated, not via the ballot box. That's Ken Mutenyo, uh, spokesperson at the Democratic Party. Um, I have uh, Musana Arafati, Ginger West. He says, Dr. Kiza Bestia is a central opposition force to Uganda politics, and any attempt to come back is critically positive to change. I, however, need a comment from Honorable Mukasambide on the Honorable Matthias Impuga, NUP Masaka Saga. Is he taking advantage against his immediate opponent? Uh, that's Musana Arafati. Uh, another viewer here says, uh, as forces of change, we're very excited about the return of Kiza Bestia. Mr. Museveni is now surrounded. Western Uganda will support Besige, and Besige will regain in Acholi, Lango for UPC, and Teso region will embrace FDC. Eastern and Central Uganda will support His Excellency Chagulanyi. Besige is a game changer. If Kiza Besige gains more ground in Western Uganda, NRM will collapse. Benomi Godfrey, NUP coordinator, Greta Bushenyi. I have a message here from, uh, let me check, 
one more message. Uh, yes, uh, this is Mugabe Godfrey from Kabarole who says, uh, Kanokiza Beshe tried his luck several times, but if he failed to take power from NRM, let him leave, give a chance to others. Uh, Ken is coming back, says, uh, Semuju saying that they want to work together with other opposition groups is a lost opportunity. Instead of joining DP, they formed their own party. Another opportunity came with TDA. They opted to pull Besija out of the meeting. Who do... Who will believe them now? Uh, Honorable Lydia, negotiation, your party being pushed out of power, you having no control over your party chairman and the party chairman being stronger than you, uh, what will lead Uganda to... Is it a negotiated transition? How can uh, the emergence of people like Kiza Besija impact? in a future for the country? It is public knowledge that the NRM is open to any negotiations and to even share power. If, if there are people in opposition that would like to join government, we have plenty of them. And they, they even come and, if I may use the word, they even come and jump the queues because we have so many of them now in the cabinet, in big positions, mm. the ambassadors. Have they shared the power? Yeah. What do you mean by what do you call power? You, the, mm. the, only, the, the power you're talking about is only mm. the head of state. How many of you can be head of state? It's only one position. But mm. power is bigger than just one position. So if you Give think, chance, can you listen, you uh, what you Bide, mean Bide, yeah. you have your filing under the armpit. So you, you listen. <laughs> you, have, you have been negotiating, you are, in, you are putting in the, in the armpit, and then you want other people to follow what's in the armpit, which they don't know. Mm. But the issue is, <laughs> the NRM party has demonstrated that they are willing to share government and they are willing to share power. But if people are obsessed with the taking over the helm of leading Uganda, that's a different story because now, how many positions can you have in Uganda for the president? So you can only have one, one president at that, at that time. So if you think that the NRM is weak, and that this, this, this uh, idea that they say that you may think that we are weak, but maybe we are like a chain. The weakest points of NRM sometimes become our biggest strength. Or I've just told you we are coming from a meeting that mm. has received returns from, uh, returns from, from the registration process. did from 13 to 17. And everybody has registered. But I, I was discussing, of course, with, the, with even my question, I was saying now, we, I'm going to study this 18 hmm. alongside other national statistics, like I've just explained. Hmm. Now, you may be laughing at us, but at least for us, it's a process. So <coughs> if you have not been able to mobilize Ugandans, to win the presidency. Because every five years we go to the polls. Now you are saying, oh, you know, the electoral commission is organized by the incumbent. Oh, you know, but, but we lost to Uganda. Didn't he also, the same guy that organized mm. the elections? We lost to Uganda. We, 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 we have said that we, have, we are not hand at losing elections, but also winning. Because we, we when they woke up, we didn't have the northern Uganda. Actually went to FDC, Lango went. Now, now recently we've lost to by elections. UPC has taken the ground in, in Lango. The Lango. But mm. we come back and go on the drawing board. Where we cannot win, we negotiate. Where we can win, we go and win. That's why that I would like to say, uh, Charles, that the NRM government, led by President Museveni, has an open door to the politics of the country. Because even our history shows that sometimes it's very difficult to win up front, but now our country has a national character, mm. the part has a national character, because we've been able to win without every run. So if you want to know about what you call power, Mbide, you can go up front if you have the, the fire, yeah? if you have the fire. But if you think that the fire will not work for you, you can negotiate, and then you wait. Because mm. people, many people are now saying, oh, you know, this man has grown old. They are all waiting like how somebody would, would take chance to grab. But the, the, and many of us are saying we shouldn't wait for someone to grab. Let's see how best we can. Uh, there's a lot of talk about transition. The reason why DP, I'm told now, why President Mao is in the, in, in, the in the government, 
is he, he has gone there so that they can negotiate a transition. But the electro the the 1995 question of Uganda and the electoral laws attendant it, Mukasa, you know this very well. We go for elections. So if you think that elections are not going to, pre to deliver a presidency or it for DP, and you want to use the it back door, whatever, or other alternatives, again, in other words, but I do not see us running away from the constitutional arrangements of our country. Mm. We have to go for elections. That's why everyone was talking about 2026. 20, mm. But we can have an alternative. Will, will, will President Museveni be on the ballot in 2026? You've been in SEC discussing. You had a, a prior SEC meeting which discussed the emergence of PLU. It was then MK movement. No, we have and never discussed PLU in SEC. It has never been on the part of our agenda. But, uh, but again, like I've said, we are open to discussions. We are open to organize, uh, debate. We are open to any agenda, including discussing any group that would like to come and work with the, okay. with the, with the, with the NRM, like DP, UPC, all these guys are with us. Mm. FDC, individually or institutionally, they, we are open to discuss with them. And if, you, if Ugandans think that the best way to, uh, to replace President Museveni is through other means, other, other than, than the electoral laws and the question of Uganda, we can have a referendum. I think we are open to these conversations. But as long as we are under the political party dispensation now, the NRM party, as day follows the night, we shall have a presidential candidate. And you ask him whether he will be in the battle of 2026, that's not for me to come and tell Frontline. That's for the party process to go through. We are going to have party election structures after we have finished with the register. And that, after that, we shall have flag bearers from the presidency mm. up to parliament up to the councillors up to the LC5 you you sat as neck and decided that uh, for as I'm, long as yes you, I'm you, sick yes you're sick yes. but sick sick agreed yeah. earlier that you have one sole candidate and then in the 20, uh, that position has changed in 2020 in 2020, mm, 2020, 2020 we sat in a meeting and he gave president seven who is the leader of our party an opportunity which we resolved and took it to NEC at the national conference mm. to lead us as long as he's able from 2021 where he won the election and beyond okay. but that uh, resolution can always be subject to review because that was the resolution but we have we follow the laws of the party and the laws of the country so 2026 we've begun the process mm. the register will be done structures will come and we elect we elect flag bearers including the presidential and if the time x reaches and it's still available and that's the decision of the party and is willing he will be the presidential candidate you see africa is very interesting the handlers and supporters of uh, but africa they were willing him to the mm. nomination center yes. of algeria yes, yes. Mm. And, I see and, I see, and i see lydia is determined to do that if that's the they decision of the, of the, the, of the party members... Please, you can't die in office. Eh. They say, no, no, if still, I mean, the man said at 75, you are tired. Now he's 80. And you are saying, and, if and, he's still and you think that Robert, being drug desire, Robert Buango Rwakasenyi from Fort Porto says, uh, Bestia's return to politics will meet a big challenge because FDC Najanankumbi faction is a registered and recognized political party. This calls for Dr. Bestia to form another party, which will be difficult... Uh, which they will find difficult to build structures within the one year remaining. Meaning, both Katonga faction and Najanakumi faction will be looked at as underdogs to win the 2026 presidential elections. How I wish they could unite with NUP and merge for the common goal to compete with NRM. If not, NRM will win again come 2026. Uh, Robert Buango Ruakasenyi. Um, another viewer here, I'll take a few more messages. Uh, Besige coming back is a big wake-up call for everyone, not only NRM, but even NUP. I support Semuju if we are not careful. Museven will go with Uganda, which will need more 40 years to repair. If we are still lost under the, his leadership, now imagine after the disappearance. Sami Eto in Fort Porto. I have a message from uh, Davis Ramhumbu Chalgonza says uh, national unity platform leadership is still intact. Charles, get assured that 2026 
10 or 13 of our MPs might not come back, but new NUP faces will appear. So the rise of BCG is an ignition in the opposition. A vehicle of Colonel BCG and President Chagulanyi is a win for Ugandans in 2026. My worry is the current F, uh, CDF might cause some confusion after the win for Ugandans. Tomorrow, Mountains of the Moon University in Fort Porto is getting the first ever female guild president, uh, Grace, Grace Akiko somebody. I, I don't know how this comes in. Yes, uh, Kano Besige is awakening the sleeping genius in the citizens to liberate themselves for capacity, from captivity. The poverty levels of the citizens of Uganda with high taxes on each person and services will spark the fire within the people, which the ruling state may fail to stop. It is a matter of time. You cannot keep playing um, on people. This is Ronald Mugisa. Let's take a break. We'll pick this conversation up in a moment. Welcome back to this edition of The Frontline on NBS TV. Um, uh, some from Kasangati says, I think Dr. KB realized that there is a gap that NUP has failed to fill. That's why KB has resurfaced. However, he should know that His Excellency the President leaves nothing to chance. Uh, I have, there's so many messages. James Nkojo says, one thing you can't recycle is wasted time. My advice to Colonel Besige is to quit politics. Uh, another viewer, Ruben says, uh, tell Madame Wanyoto that it's difficult to serve food that you haven't prepared. Museveni and his family are only people knows how Uganda will be 40 years ahead from now. Let those people who call themselves NRM members, um, chairmans, uh, some of this language, uh, they, 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 I can't make out these words. I don't know if they're English or something else. Not waste their time explaining what they doesn't know we shall not we shall only trust one person and his family only have vision for uganda the rest better mind their own business uh, ruben uh, you need to clarify that message i i can't pick it out very well um oh, oh let me come back to you many people are asking how does the country move forward the opposition is in the state in which it is the nrm is in the state in which it is uh, according to Mukasa Mbide, doesn't have control over its chairman. That when he called SEC, he, it is SEC which was waiting for him to give directions on where it goes, <laughs> not SEC <laughs> putting their chairman to account. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm paraphrasing what he said, and I hope I represent you. A team uh, <laughs> well, first of all, what does part, that mean? And yes. I just want to try, not just that BCG has seen gaps mm. in the position, but uh, his recent installment of Elias Lukwag was the leader of the faction in Katonga. I think something tells him that he is dead in the waters. At least as far as national politics is concerned. That is it him who installed or the national Well, there's, there's always a leading force. Mm. There's no doubt that he, Besige is the leading force there, and he played a pivotal role in, in the installation of Elias Lukwago, who had recently joined, by the way. I think he's reading that uh, if you take Lukwago to try and lead a political group around the country, they are dead in the waters. And so I think he would want people to walk under his old wings that he can. But I, I doubt that he can. But that does not mean his presence cannot complicate or strength. Secondly, I also think uh, this is a rider. I think he, with this gap, he reads. He also sees that there's an opportunity to mobilize resources, mm -hmm. both internal and external, which I think he sees there are people dangling money out there for any groups to support change in Uganda through the democratic politics and is seeing that maybe NOP is not doing it well, DP is not doing it well, and him coming with the old name, he can raise this money. Now, where does the country move? Uganda is not comatose, as in dead. NRM is not comatose, no. 
NRM is moving. NRM is moving in one direction, mainly because we believe in the leadership of President Seven. What many of you see as problems, as negatives, as weaknesses, mm. some of us don't see them as weaknesses. We see them as strength. That he has been able to build and lead and expand this organization from hardly 42 people. He has continuously dis disaggregated it. Now you can say distinctively there's the, 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 the state wing and the political wing, although Honorable Mukasambidi doesn't seem to see the difference between the, the NRM political wing, and the party, and the state. Of course, yes, there is haziness, but it is there. So there is discussion, there are discussions within the NRM mm. as to how do we move the country forward post seven when it does happen. But as long as he has energy and is willing, like he, it is now, mm. personally, I've, I've said so, I've written so, that. I will campaign for him from seven as long as he's willing Did you have the right? to be on that's that, that's part of that's part of dealing with the situation we are in mm. that in my judgment i think in 2026 he would still be having energy and let us look around the world in america we have two bald-headed men one who falls on the platform every other time but now some of you would say America has institutions. Even here, there was a time in Uganda when we believed you cannot have a police force without a substantive inspector general of police. Now, we know that mm. it's possible for the police to run without a substantive inspector because the institution... I, 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 I insinuate listen, that it's a dress rehearsal. No, listen, it's, a, it's a dress rehearsal no, to have listen, the central bank without yes, a leadership yeah, and have yes, police without because, leadership. Because... because the Bank of Uganda mm. is not the bank governor. And the bank governor is not the Bank of Uganda. Now we have demonstrated that it's possible for the central bank to actually run and the, and the economy the is moving the, without the... the, 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 the no, no. But the is, there, is there a situation where central bank has failed to take a decision because there's no substantive... Even under so, the the, yes, a few, a few years ago we did not know and some people did not believe that somebody can come from another party and become a leader in another party and government. Today, mm. the NRM has ably demonstrated that it's possible to come from UPC, or even when you're still in UPC, like in the case of Honorable uh, Better Mom, mm. and you lead the NRM government, in a, uh, you lead the branch of the NRM government. So we have been able to demonstrate. So it is possible in Uganda today, even by the way, to have no president for a day for two days, and things are moving normally. It is possible. And so, I would want to tell Honorable Semujo that what the NRM has built is here for durability. You can choose to test it whichever way you want, because you are saying that Museven wants to take Uganda, the Gaddafi, the way the Gaddafi took. That's your choice if you want to think that way. Many of us, where we stand, we think that there are institutions which will not allow mm. anybody, or indeed Uganda, to go down the path that Honorable Semuju is describing for Sudan, for Egypt, and so on. And Honorable Semuju, maybe you need to go and read and understand better what were the, what were the political forces, both internal and international, at play. In Libya, in, 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 in Sudan, on the surface, you, you may think that the changes that toppled Bashir were internal. From where you sit, I think it was mainly external, but using internal. Mm. That they are trying to do here, by the way. So when the same use topple us, particularly by the method of SJ of unconstitutional method, 
Everybody will say, oh, it is the population. But there, are, there would have been forces that perhaps nobody saw. And, and so for us, we think that uh, the NRM led by M7, yes, we can say does power corrupts, as they say, that absolute power corrupts absolutely. I hope that the NRM leadership does not allow to be power to corrupt it absolutely. Mm. And uh, it is not just, Uganda is not, is not run just by, Museven is the leader, but does not run Uganda alone. He runs with other people. Mm. Now, if uh, those uh, other uh, people... About 2,160,000 yes, elected yes, positions. If, if those other people choose 3, to abdicate, 3. 3. if 3. those other now. people choose yeah. to abdicate, for example, leaders just come from a uh, SEC meeting. meeting. SEC now has the Speaker of Parliament, the Vice President, we did not elect them there, but... The constitution of the NRM allows the chairman to bring observers. Very to bring observers. Us. Now, if they now abdicate their responsibility of checking the overbearing of the chairman, then you cannot blame the chairman. Mm. If parliament abdicates the responsibility to check the president and the executive, then they cannot blame the executive. If the judiciary abdicates, and if we, the population, the people outside the state structure, abdicate our resp responsibility, we cannot, we cannot then blame. And okay. that's the only area I tend to agree with Honorable Semujo, that it should be our collective effort to raise the political consciousness and the positive activism of every Ugandan so that we truly get the change of all the policy that we desire. Thank you. George Muhimbisa watching us says, I support the idea that Dr. Besage and colleagues from, form a political party to become a rallying point for his supporters. It would also help the FDC Katonga leaders to have a vehicle through which to participate in the 2026 elections and other lawful political activities. If it's not done, FDC Katonga leaders will be scattered. Secondly, although Dr. Besage seems to put much of his trust in the population, masses than the leaders whom he calls elites a mass of supporters without able leadership can only be a mob it cannot lead a struggle neither can it can such a mob offer credible alternative leadership even after changing the regime it's through political party building that you can identify nurture and build leaders uh george mohimbise uh watching us mwangusha Kenneth is watching us uh, from Fort Porto. Thank you for watching. I have a message from... Um, As day follows night, Besige joining the fray guarantees NRM victory. What bewitched Uganda's opposition? Besige joining hands with Noop would have given NRM a run for their money. Tell Honorable Bombide we love the, uh, the language. Uh, we love his language. Uh, this is Kenneth Chamlesiri. Uh, I have... Uh, <laughs> Let me see. I'll take maybe one more message and then we will move back to... Yes, you, Honorable... I'll take this. Uh, Gumisriza Bensoni from Dambwe, Kamuli Kakiri, says, Dr. Bestia is true definition of opposition. He's not about being party president or president of this country, but he's fighting against the government which doesn't help its own citizens. I pray that if all opposition parties join hands with, KB, with Dr. KB, we take over this country. You, 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 one, you've been listening into the debate, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you have changed um, your, your pessimistic uh, standpoint on uh, the fate of the opposition. No, or, the, 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 uh, the, the fate of their MOU, which is in his in armpit. armpit. Well, wait. Uh, by the way, <laughs> and he wants other people to push with him. And, and, and by the way, even NRM party is on the opposition. I, mm. I, I hope you have listened closely to our interpretation of actually the operationalization of a political party. NRM doesn't equally operate as such. What we are doing on the opposition is like a madman who throws stones and everything you hit, you call it the target. So for me, <laughs> I, I want to come here on the front line and speak frankly. Mm, please go ahead. Be because there is no way we, we are going to, to keep here. Uh, and, and we also want you to come here and speak frankly. That is true. Yes. There is no way we are going to keep posturing before the masses and at the end of the day, we expect to tell them that, by the way, we have been declared winners. The former president is now organizing 
a, a, a procedure for assumption of office by a new leader. In Uganda, it is completely unlikely going to be a result of an election that he has organized. If, if he stopped even organizing elections in his own party, mm. because you see who elects the Secretary General, he, he saw it was going to be a problem, that one was phased out. So don't expect that elections will then be held under the, the ambit of procedures that he has himself designed in the national political arena. So what are we looking at here? We, we have got what we call the, the politics of prebendalism and clientelism, uh, where the individuals in a position of authority have an assumption of a right mm. to the resources of the country for sustainability of their own stay in the political offices where they lie. Now, that has caused everybody to be an employee of the president to the extent that then they have now decided to support the president of Uganda, General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, by axiomatic faith. They no longer even ask whether he's doing anything right or wrong. But for purposes of they have adopted a moving constitution in their own, at the subconscious level of their brains, that fear is life. So now, <laughs> before him, everybody is now making sure he must hear you saying that you support him, or else, obviously, then mm. you are going to lose the object for which you stay and will continue to be in a position where you lie. Now, when people keep say, t talking about how can you win an election against an entity whose ever established leader reaches out to the coffers for sustainability of their stay, wherever they are. So it has generated the dichotomy of two types of politicians. Those that are actually bazillionaires, because you can call, if you call them billionaires, I think that is a bit less. Mm. So versus, versus. Bazillionaires are how many, that's how many billions? Uh, you know, it, it is an excessive Excellent. reference to, mm -hmm. to those that have got all that it takes to win an election. Now, versus these that are the subject of a protest support. Now, for them, they have also now adopted a system of idiocy. They dazzle the population with wrong opinions mm -hmm. to the extent that then it creates the oomph of support for them <laughs> under the likelihood that they will even defeat the incumbent. I, I mean, we are just living a life of posturing. Mm. And for me, I think, and, and what Ono Wanyoto is saying, we, we are still looking forward to a dialogue. Because we think we, are open. we think the country really needs a different, you, a you, different you, strategy. You, you, you can't just walk into a dialogue. If you're weak, that you is must the problem. have some strength yes. to sit on the table. Previously, when dialogues have been proposed, Dr. Bessie said he would not go for a tea party uh, to take tea at State House. Mm. If you're invited to a dialogue where the opposition is in an, as weak a position as it is today, yes. what kind of dialogue do you expect to have? Uh, the, the kind of dialogue we are espousing as the DP is not anchored on a premise that we, we are a threat to government. Mm. It is anchored on a premise that actually government is a threat to the country. You see, patriotism, does a, patriotism means you must be able, and this I am telling the NRM people, you must be able to save your country even from your own government. So we feel that reason must be the overriding reason, mm. the overriding necessity for dialogue to, to commence. The, the, what the, happened during, uh, for example, what sparked off the kind of freedoms that we are looking at in Kenya? Because Moi did not stand. He was not living under a threat of, of, of being ousted immediately. But at least he sat down and decided, then hmm. we can be able to begin dialoguing for the best. Okay. What, what, we can look, we can be, look be, at... Because uh, the contending forces were such that he had no option. Does the, President Museveni uh, feel me, the threat and, and this is why I'm of, saying, of sitting down to dialogue with anybody? This is why I'm saying that w the opposition needs to support this process to the extent that then it is looked at as a process supported Lydia by a multiplicity said, of our own. How do you expect the opposition to support you if the agreement is still in the ampit? But, but then... How do you pick it out? How do you expect it to interpret that President Museveni and his leadership 
are well intentioned. Let, if they cannot listen to reason, let me flip the mayor, question. because it is let not being supported by many. Have you reached out to these other political parties in the opposition? Number two, who do you reach out to mm. when those political parties are as factionalized as they are? Now, let me tell you, when, when we are doing this, we have not told anybody that it is easy. It is not an easy phenomenon. We are living in a situation where people are ignorant and they tell you that they don't even want to know. I hope you have heard that one mm. as one of the moving swan songs on the politicians, uh, on the politicians mouths of, of certain uh, tetumanya, tetuagala kumanya. Now in an area of that, in, in, in an era of that ty, ty, kind of body politic, it is not going to be easy. We are even engaging God to the extent that prayers can, can help. Mm. We are engaging everybody, beginning with our own. Because you see, even our own at the same stage, they had even thought that the memorandum that we signed mm. had amended our constitution. In fact, some of them even thought that it had created now an enigma between them and the opposition in the parliament. Mm. That they did not even know. Seeing the president that, that, of the what party. That's some of your members are saying. Yeah, it, 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 because we have... Some a, of your, actually, some of your leaders yes, in parliament. Because we have a low relative polit political okay. maturity let, of let, the let me take a message from uh, Let me take a message from, another message from uh, Muzek Chris Tushabe. He says, uh, please listen to me. When Bobby Wine created NUP, he weakened FDC. The opposition. When Bessie came back, he weakened FDC. The opposition. When elections come, someone will say that Museven cheated them. Are Ugandans fools? <laughs> but are they? Are are they a... eh? What do you say to Mr. Chris Tushabe? I don't know what he's saying. Hmm. He's saying that every time you emerge with a new political party or faction, you weaken those that exist. That you could actually take it back to <coughs> when, they, when FDC first emerged. It left DP weaker because some of the members, it recruited from the Democratic Party. When <coughs> ANT imagined it weakened FDC because it recruited from the FDC. So that by splitting and creating newer political you forces, see, you see the, like you're thinking I, now. I have, I have subjected myself to three elections now. Mm. In each of those elections, I have faced a, a candidate from DP. The last election, I had a candidate from NO. Certainly, there is a candidate from NRM. Mm. For me, the number sometimes it, it depends on how you relate to each other, but they don't translate into weakness uh, immediately as people think. The same people who voted for me when I started my political career continue to vote for me. In fact, my votes continue to growing. Mm. Even if the parties are many, the trouble is it, many of the parties in Uganda, first of all, don't have enough resources, but there are also parties that are run by candidates themselves. Hmm. I have gone to Ghana, and uh, the party of J. Rawlings now that is in opposition, someone resigned from parliament to come... And lead it. No, not to come and become a secretary general. Hmm. So the party as an institution has some financial capacity um, to look after people who are running it. In Uganda, what has complicated our discussions for uh, the joint electoral platform has been because those who are involved in, in, in the discussions, nearly almost all of them want to be candidates. Mm. So if Besige becomes the main candidate, the deep person thinks that now that will give Semuju an advantage in Ichira. Mm. So working together is very bad. That has been the complication. The <coughs> is, is it partly because you haven't built sufficient uh, mass support that you can sit and negotiate and say, if I'm in UP, I am bringing you and guaranteeing that I'm bringing the vote from central region. If I'm FDC, this is my stronghold, this is what I bring to the table. Like the, so if, the, what if, if, if you can allow that, that was point number mm. one. Point number two is that we also face conditions that are very difficult. So even when you win an election, the only area where I agree with Mukasambi, I don't agree with him on the rest, is that uh, it will be seven to declare you a winner of seven is machinery. 
I have slept at the Tari Center two days to get declared. Even the results are obvious. You have to sleep there. So if you don't sleep there, one day they can announce someone who you defeated. Mm. At a presidential level, I am sure Dr. Vesiji, at least if I want to quote uh, Sejusa, defeated him 7206. Yes. Even the last election. Mukasa <coughs> agrees with you on that. Yeah. But him had to announce himself. Even the last election, the performance of Chagulani was generally interfered with. People got arrested, people got beaten, the military was all over. So elections are, are in themselves not easy, but they can, they can help people because that's the only time uh, Museveni will allow you, because last time he had the luxury of COVID, but at least he will allow you to go and mobilize massively the population. And that's why it took him more than three days with the military to stop the population from overrunning him. Okay. Uh, Sami is watching us from Fort Porto and says, ask Samuj, when are they coming to Fort Porto? Eagerly waiting for them and Mukasambide should join them and come with KB. Uh, Samuju, thanks that you should, you should, you should go. Um, we're continuing this conversation on uh, the on Afro Mobile, uh, if you're watching us. Uh, let, let, let's just exhaust a little bit